Hello, everyone, and welcome to Minnesota Varsity League's Sunday Stream. My name is Thunder McFadden, and we have a special guest caster today. Skepter is out of town. I am joined by Maniac. Maniac, what's up, man? How's your weekend going? My weekend's been going great. I'm ready to cast some Rocket League. You know, you saw me come out and play last weekend, and there's a reason I'm retired. There's a reason ah. I'm casting now. Ah. I, I'm hey, excited you know to cast. Listen, it was fun to cast you playing last weekend, I can tell you that. It was a blast. It was an awesome time. And thank you all for joining us again this weekend for our matchup. It is going to be St. John's Prep taking on the Rocket Cougars of Cedar Mountain High School. Now, you got the names up there, okay? If you are a longtime fan of Minnesota Varsity League and you've been following us since last season... That St. John's Prep roster is going to look pretty familiar to you. Now, what's not going to look familiar to you is them being on the stream. This is the first time of this season, right here in this spring, that we are going to see L Bloop, uh, L Bloop slider count, and then Mr. Math. Okay, that crew they have solidified their crew. Ah, uh, Maniac, back with me. I see you now. Um, so they are set. They are ready to go. You know, and this is a crew that was on stream so much last season. It was really awesome stuff. And now I am excited uh, to not only see what they are bringing, right? Because obviously these are players. They all played together last season, uh, did a great job, made a great run in the state uh, tournament, uh, ended up fourth, right? So I am excited to see what this team has put together over the course of this season, what they're bringing to the table as we go into state turning next week. And also the Rocket Cougars, right? The Rocket Cougars, this is a team that we are not familiar with. They were definitely not in our league last season. Um, and now adding them to the mix. Maniac, what are you excited about seeing today? I'm excited seeing SJP come out and play again. I mean, last season, they looked like a powerhouse team going to that state tournament and then just got upset at every turn during it. It was just really unfortunate for them. I, I mean, St. John's Prep last season, they had their powerhouse star, El Bloop, and, you know, he's amazing. He won our ones tournament, but they never they could never really get a good team synergy down. It was always a bit of a struggle for them on, in that sense. But now, obviously, they've had a couple more months to play together. I, I think that we could see a St. John's prep that is looking really good here. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. I totally agree. You know, and I think I would have to go back to the VODs in that, but I know for sure that we interviewed El Bloop last season. I do not recall. I believe we interviewed both Mr. Math and Slider Count. I would have to look. But either way, I remember, especially when I talked to El Bloop, right? El Bloop is somebody who, yes, tends to be looked at as kind of like the superstar of that team. But El Bloop is an individual. I remember talking to him and he was like, you know, I am all about the team. I am all about finding out the way that I can, you know, that, that we as a unit here at SJP can find the right synergy that you talked about, Maniac, right? I remember specifically L Bloop saying that and thinking, you know what? Yes, this is a team that as much as they have had some hurdles that they've had to kind of jump over and that type of thing, right? Uh, a couple of upsets here and there. They are now, I think, we have had months. We have had months between that state tournament and where we're at now. And yeah. Slider Count, Mr. Math, and L Bloop are now well-seasoned playing together, right? They have a lot of time uh as a unit and i am excited to see what they bring as we get going in here all of it is brought to you by alpine esports folks if you are not following alpine get on your phone or tablet right now and follow alpine esports they are our title sponsor for rocket league they're always taking care of us mike bring us in all right we see l bloop right off the bat looking for an air dribble to make a statement here in the beginning of the game but just gets turned away and these teams they're just passing it back and forth they look it looks like Ro the rocket cougars are going to be able to hold up against sjp but you know it's just the first 30 seconds really As yeah you know i mean when you see them going toe to toe like this and then now taking some shots st john's prep is we do see the rocket cougars taking care of some of the defensive stuff like you mentioned maniac good good stuff good car control 
Yeah, um, I mean, Rocket Cougars is just playing a good lockdown defense, but it, you know, it'll just be a matter of time until they break under this. I mean, look at El Bloop. Look at this. Unreal. It, Still turning it away, though. Rocket Cougars managing to get it out onto the St. John's prep side. Slider Count tries to hit it away from his net. L Bloop and Mr. Math clear it. Zombie kill on the ball. Looking to make a clear. A little bit of a challenge on Slider Count. Goes to L Bloop. Oh, L Bloop's looking for something. Going to make Ooh. some statement. Not quite. You know, El Bloop has gone for a couple of those there, Maniac. Some really great aerials, but the Rocket Cougars always have a defense in place for it. They're waiting almost for those shots from El Bloop, and they're doing a great job defensively. And wow, oh man, a almost nice there offensive attempt right there. What on earth? Yeah, a good thing to point out there, Thunder. Uh, it, it seems like Rocket Cougars, they know what St. John's Prep wants to do, and they're ready for it. And now we see them on the offense. El Bloop getting a nice aerial touch to clear it. And slider count coming in to force it into the blue corner. Mr. Math looking to put it mid. El Bloop goes for a shot. Is that in? It wow. Just off the post. That was so close. I couldn't even Scarface tell Wolf, I think, came out and bounced it off of El Bloop's own player, own teammate. Oh, he bumped. And that. then sent it out. Such a good play unreal stuff man you know we talked about it Manike. these teams going toe to toe right now and having an answer both of them right st john's prep having an answer when these rocket cougars are sending the blue cars right oh it gets so close to the goal every time both teams yeah. making epic saves here i mean yeah you said it both of these teams going toe to toe really looking like a good match l bloop tries to pass it out for a teammate but it gets intercepted Mr. Math with a big demo. That'll slow down the Rocket Cougar offense. And mess up their transition. Slider count looks to pass it mid. Mr. Math goes for a, a shot. No, goes for a pass. El Bloop turns away from that one. Doesn't have the boost to get there. Zombie Kill steals El Bloop's boost. Now we have Zombie Kill looking to make an offensive play. Just gets turned away. Mr. Math on the pass off the backboard to Slider Count, maybe? Oh. Wow! And that'll be oh in. boy look at that the pressure keeps coming mr math two slider count back to mr math Woo! i mean st john's prep just caught the cougars on their on their transition and that team play came in perfectly just a double pass back and it goes in on zombie kill looking to take possession after the kickoff but can't can't get it scarface the nice clear echo with a Good bang to get it out to the red side. Slider count looking to stop it from going in. And Mr. Math tries to take the shot, but zombie kill turns it away. L Bloop looking for something nutty and can't, doesn't have the boost to get it. Zombie kill looking for a play of his own. And, oh, oh, what a save. Mr. Math, what? Mr. Math was just waiting there in the net. He knew I can, I can get this. I have the boost to take this. And on the defense and on the offense. Wow, look at the improvement out of that player specifically, Mr. Math. Yeah, I mean, this whole SJP roster, they look like a much more solid team. And they look, it looks like they're playing with some swagger, you know? They're playing with some confidence. Oh, oh wow. unfortunate. Slider count gets it past. Look at this redirect right here. And it trickles nice at that weird speed. Nobody's in oh, a good enough no. place to get on it. And that is 2-0 right Did now for one? SJP. That was not a, just an own goal from Echo. That was a double own goal. Scarface, he got a touch on it, but it redirected it backwards into his own goal. Oof. And then Echo can't find the save. That's just, that hurts. That hurts. Yep. Yep, and when the ball comes in at that angle and at that speed, it's always a weird one. It, it, you just don't expect it. It's not coming in with any sort of aggressive offensive attack, anything like it, that. Just it just in. is. It just is a weird, weird ball. Uh, and that right there, taking SJP up by two goals, man. But I will tell you, the Rocket Cougars came out to fight today. They came out to play Maniac. Yeah, they aren't. They aren't let. They aren't letting SJP get away with much. And this is going to be going to be a match i'm predicting game four that's what i'm calling right now 
you know, I would not doubt it at all. I would not be surprised at all. I wouldn't even be surprised if we went to five games here. Uh, what an insane first matchup. I mean, that thing was 1-0 up until, uh, is this? Ooh, this is the Mr. Math goal. Wow. Yep. With a minute and 40 left on the clock. Uh, this close was so game. sweet. Look at this. Yeah, the Mr. double Math pass. loops around. Unreal. Yeah. Math to slider count to math craziness elbow wasn't yeah. even involved on that one you know and that's like i think that right there is it just a, a small little telltale sign of what we see in progression and growth out of this team right i mean we didn't uh, we last season we were used to seeing a a ton of high flying active attacks from el bloop um and we were seeing i mean they they've always been a team that's put up very good defense Okay, but now I'm seeing rotations that I have never seen before out of this team. I mean, and, and it's not to say I've never seen it before, but what I'm saying is, is they're using it much, much more effectively. This team looks great. Maniac. Yeah, I mean, they're really, they're really looking like they put in the time and Al Blue taking a bit more of a kind of metagame team player kind of role in this as he looks to make an offensive play right off the kickoff here yeah absolutely on the slider count slider count can't get the shot he's looking for echo looking for a Oof. dribble his flicks are a little little weird in the dominus can't get the flick he's looking for yeah almost though had a nice little juke and that right there i mean you're showing these rocket cougars are showing some great ball handling okay some great aerials even um yep. and stuff that's oh, oh no. boy oh what a oh, bummer no. of a misdirect from mr math hey, echo I mean, just pops it right in front of him here look mr math puts it just right out in like... front of mr math who is already going that direction and already on the boost oh unfortunate what a bummer yeah unfortunate but mr math's just saying like you know it's all right guys we'll we'll repay the favor from last game yeah 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 i mean i you know again a little a little mistake like that it doesn't concern me um a great nope. great opportunity though now for the rocket cougars if they can try to swing the momentum right obviously that's what they want to do but it's going to be tough when you have someone oh. like l bloop coming in like that amazing i mean this l bloop mr math play both of them aerialing passing it to each other and then the bump on echo from mr math just lets l bloop just smack it right in. Yep. Amazing play. Everybody following, everybody there. El Bloop, you know he's going to sniff out something like that and just make a goal of it. Yep. Unreal. Yeah. And then on the attack again. Wow. Rocket Cougars smart with that defense. Yep. Got those two players right there ready to turn it away. Zombie kill making an offensive play himself. Goes to, I think that was Scarface, but they can't get it past the st john's prep defense echo tries though echo might be able to find oh. something nets open wow can't. oh <laughs> zombie kill it to dodge like two cars trying to get that and he couldn't get the couldn't get the shot echo just i mean a, a couple of flips and a couple of little pirouettes in a row just to try and and so close on every single one of them yeah. what an effort out of echo to try to put that thing in the net and it just does not want to go uh but i mean they they got saint john's prep sweating after that one it's that's gonna scare them a little bit yeah definitely echo tries to make a pass back looking for a dribble oh, oh no with the steal and the goal is Mr. Math. Look at this. Echo. There you go. Echo is looking for a pass back, and those are risky plays to go for, as we see right here. Yep, absolutely. And and I mean, what what great wherewithal out of Mr. Math. Ooh, a slow kickoff. This is dangerous right here. Yep. Echo looking for a double touch. Can yeah. you get it? Oh, turned away by L. Bloop. But oh, it's but in front of the net again. Floating. No, Mr. Math clearing it away. Good defense from St. John's Prep. Wow, exceptional defense. That I I was sure that that was a goal uh, for the Rocket Cougars right there. They had a couple of players in place. Yeah, I mean, St. John's Prep, they're, 
it really, really does look like they've put in the time to learn as a team and to really grow from last season. They look fantastic right now. They do. Now, and that we keep saying that, but I'm going to tell you right now, these Rocket Cougars, who are a team that we are much, much less familiar with, uh, they are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with SJP this whole way. This ball is deep in the SJP zone right now. And again, ooh, are they going to get one there, though? Yeah, yes, they one. will. Another one for Mr. Math. Yeah. Ooh. They just, SJP caught a couple players from the Rocket Cougars up on too far in offense and took advantage of it. You know, the Rocket Cougars right now, they kind of remind me of St. John's Prep from that first season. They they definitely look like they look like a good solid team and every player looks like they have all of their mechanics down, but it seems that they're making a few communication errors that are costing them these goals. You know, it's possible that that's it, or it's possible that just, you know, some of these things are just kind of wrong place, wrong time. We're seeing some yep, very, very impressive stuff. You know, I saw some great saves out of Scarface. I saw, I mean, some great, great stuff out of Echo. Okay. Uh, Zombie is right there. Zombie is making things happen back on the D and getting passes off and that type of thing. So I think that as we move into state tournament, this is a team to watch out for because I do believe this is a team that could upset any of these other teams, you know? Yeah, I'm, I mean, anything can happen. I, I think that I, I definitely agree with you. With a, a little bit of, little bit of luck, and this team can take it. As we see Echo, the nice Echo bang. with the redirect, and that is a goal. We've got one minute left, and this thing is now. Oh wow! Yep, just says you know I, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Yep. No big thing. Just. All right, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful goal out of Echo to put them, to put the Rocket Cougars right back in this, to be honest. There's one minute left, and I have no doubt that these blue cars can score a goal if they really put it together here. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, but the St. John's prep defense is looking very good. It, very good. It's not going to be easy for them, but they can do it. As Echo looks to oh. make it happen, but gets turned away by El Blue. Scarface. Man. Let me Echo keep it on the is offense. so fast. Yeah, it, Echo is Echo's really just everywhere on the field right now. Really? Zombie kill. Great at sniffing out the boost. Echo, oh, wow. Nearly there, but just off the post. Oh, and Mr. Math almost with a just long goal all the way down the center of the field there, too. Could have solidified it for him, but boy, 10 seconds. Do the Cougars have one left? Echo on the way. Echo looking oh! for it. Demos L bloop. This could be big. Zombie kill. Oh, whoa. Passing whoa, it whoa, whoa. It's floating up. Slider count there to turn Huge it away. Huge for slider. Hey, slider count and uh, L bloop both had major, major plays there in that last 20 seconds. Uh, that meant that our Rocket Cougars did not get a chance to tie that up. So huge stuff on the offense and on the defense out of St. John's prep. Wow. Check this out right here. Mr. Math. Yeah. I mean, says, well, why did nobody, why is nobody going after this ball? <laughs> why is nobody going after this ball? Math is like, Mr. Math's just like, Oh, is this for me? Okay. Sounds good. Mr. Math yeah. literally just going to add another goal to his total. Bad, bad, bad joke. Bad joke. Horrible, horrible joke. But I love Mr. Math's name. I've always been a huge, huge uh, fan of that gamer tag. That's awesome. He's really <laughs> adding to their team composition. I know, right? I know. Yeah, multiplying their chances of winning and stuff. Man, the dad jokes are just going today. Either way, what we're seeing out of this SJP team is fantastic, okay? They're not going out and they're not putting up a ton of goals on the opposing team. What they're doing is they are laying down effective play. They are not letting through goals that they shouldn't, and they're controlling this thing. It's match point. Yeah, I mean, SJP, they're really, really, really looking like a good team. They're playing together really well. Their communications seem to be on point it's going to be they're going to be tough to tough to beat but the rocket cougars can do it we saw them get close last game as slider count looks to make an offensive play mr mass there to follow it floating in front of the net oh blue oh. but echo turns it away wow 
That, that was... Echo L Bloop matchup is a very, very interesting one. Yeah, they looking like some pretty evenly matched oh, players boy. in the teams, but Slider Count manages to put it in. I didn't even see what happened there. I, it looked almost like a 50 ball, or no, was it a steal here? Oh, so it looks like Echo went for uh, some crazy flip reset play and passed it down to uh, Zombie Kill, but Slider just Zombie just either that. out of position, are you thinking, or? No, no, I, I think it was calculated, but they just didn't see Slider Count coming up as fast as he did yep i mean Man, taking john's advantage prep. of these plays dude yeah wow they're... and another one st john's prep they're really doing a good job at taking advantage of the small mistakes that rocket cougar is making or even just forcing mistakes out like that slider counter that play right there i mean you know normally that clear should be safe but yeah mr Ma or yeah they yep. st john's prep math on that one mr math's just right there Yep. Right there to put it home. And L Bloop looking to make something crazy Whoa. happen. Uh, that was that was scary. Slider count. Looking to pass a mid. And oh no. Unreal. Unfortunate. Scarface oh, no. tries to clear, but sometimes that happens. Oof. Just a bummer of a misdirect there. And now the deficit is three. You know, we talk about it in all of our esports, but I tell you that taking advantage of the other team, whether they make missteps or things like that, whatever it may be, right? A lot of times that is going to be the difference maker in the game. Okay. Yeah. And St. John's Prep right here, they're not going crazy. They're not doing anything like really super, super flashy. What they're doing is they're, they're playing really effective ball, right? Always exactly. somebody on the defense, always somebody ready on the offense. And they're, I mean, the way that they're moving around this field is so good. So good. Yeah, I, I agree. They're, they're really playing smart. They're playing to their strengths. They're playing, I'd say they're playing efficient. I think that's the best way to put it. Yep. And I mean, I know from playing against these guys last season, once they get up in the series, they start they're hard to stop. They're very hard to stop. It's, start... It is like a train, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, it just, they, when they get going, holy, look out, look and out. All of their plays, they're very effective at making you lose confidence. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening to these Cougars. They aren't playing with, uh, with the finesse that they were. And the, I agree. Uh, yeah. I definitely I mean, agree. St. John's Prep just breaking down the Cougars and playing effectively. As we mm -hmm. see L. Bloop going for another shot here. It's turned away by Scarface. Scarface, though. Oh. And L. Bloop comes up from the, the top of the goal. What a play. So L. Bloop sees that it's not going in, realizes, oh, oh hey, I'm he right here. Out. Oh, he wow. Comes, I didn't even see that. Up. He does the squishy muffins. Oh, that was really real. cool. Wow, 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 wow. Coming out of the net and then getting the car going in the proper direction to score that goal is obscenely difficult to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that was just, that was really cool. I mean, there's you no gotta be right place, that. right time. You gotta be like completely perfect on the sticks and on your jump there too. Jeez. And. I mean, that goal will probably be the one to solidify this series for St. John's Prep. Up four with a minute 40. This is going to be really difficult for the Cougars to turn around. But they are making some good offensive pressure. They are, and they have been making that good offensive pressure all day, which is why I say that this is one of those teams to watch out for, right? I mean, both of these teams, both of these teams are teams to watch out for in the state tournament. I believe, after watching what I've seen today, I do think that the Rocket Cougars have the potential uh, to upset a, a number of these teams that we have in our league. St. John's yeah. Prep? St. John's Prep right now? Woo! Look out, man. I mean, I'm thinking... Ow! Oh, Scarface though gets one. I I don't know what happened there. It. Oh, I think L Bloop just. Oh, okay. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> well, whatever. You're up four. You know, 
you can we listen can... i don't know i don't know that i've ever seen this many like strange like kind of like own goals own and goals? things like that yeah in in an mnvl game like ever uh it, <laughs> it, it almost feels like some of these games are trolling a little bit but i don't think it i don't think they no, are it's just, just like random redirects and like and like weird like weird whoops. stuff yeah and what's that just a another one <laughs> Another one like where Slider Scarface, Count just like sends it in slow. Scarface is just facing the wrong direction. Whoop. Doesn't have any boost. Or not enough boost. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah a lot I mean, of strange angles coming out and happening uh, I think in this game. At this point in the game, I'm. it feels like both of these teams have just kind of resigned to the fact that St. John's Prep is winning this game. And they're just, you know, playing a little bit of Rocket League for kicks. Yeah, you know, they have they have really at this point, you know, we're in game number three. It's match point five one. St. John's Prep has got it figured out now. What did I say about them being just an absolute train? You know, a a, a freight train. That's yeah, yeah. You know, when, when they and, get started, and, yeah, really hard, hard to uh, stop them. It's going to be so. I mean just fun at the state tournament it's going to be an insane state tournament with teams like this like st john's prep going up against the other titans we've seen from last season yep. and this season it, it's going to be really fun i'm looking forward to it and i just want to say again i'm so glad i've retired because if uh. i would if i were playing here i mean you know these teams are good. That's all yeah, I'm saying. These, these teams are very, very good, and they are only improving. Which goal are we going to get here? This is the oh, L the, bloop. The L bloop. Yep. Oh, the, that was that. I mean, the wherewithal to be able to see that and see I can go for this off yep. of the, the roof of the goal. I mean. How do you, you do know. that? <laughs> it, how, it, just how do you do that? You it's just like it's right place, right time. Yeah. And it's just knowing thinking on the fly like that. I mean, yeah. Unreal stuff. Your thoughts, Maniac. I just St. John's prep playing calculated, playing smart, not getting over aggressive, not over committing mm -hmm. and never losing their confidence. They played with swagger that entire series and they did. They did. Won it. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I don't know that we have ever cast a St. John's prep game uh, where El Bloop scored probably the least number of goals. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. know that that has ever happened. Um, what this team is showing is that El Bloop is still the incredible threat that he always has been. But man, the rhythm that these other two players, Mr. Math and Slider Count, the rhythm that they have gotten into. And the rhythm that they are showing on the field is just stunning. It is yeah, so I mean, good. You can tell that this team has really put in the time and gotten it down down to a T. Yep. All of their rotations. I mean, Mr. Math was showing some really good mechanical play himself as well. And you yeah. know, St. John Prep looking like a a team to really look out for, a team that could take it all. Yep in yep. the state tournament very very good right now folks this is minnesota varsity league sunday brought to you by alpine esports if you are not following alpine do yourself a favor and follow them right now stay tuned with what they are doing uh and check out their merch too we always talk about their merch on the stream but it's super comfortable stuff and it looks great and it's fly and it's awesome and they are just we love alpine they have always yeah. supported us ever since the beginning of this you know honestly rocket league may not be my main game but it is the first game i ever learned how to cast and i remember doing it uh last season with the support of alpine they've always been here right here for us so we can't thank them enough we can't thank them enough so what you can do right now is go follow them on social media right follow mmbl if you want to whatever we're going to take a very brief break and we'll be back with an interview folks see you shortly
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Minnesota Varsity League's Sunday stream. My name is Thunder McFadden. I am joined today by Maniac, and we are joined right now by every single player from St. John's Prep. That is Mr. Math, Slider Count, and L. Bloop. What's up, you three? How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. I'm doing good. Awesome. Well, you looked great on the field today. Uh, I don't know if you were listening while you were playing. I'm sure you'll go back and watch the VOD, whatever. Uh, but we were talking you up that whole time, and it was because of your gameplay. It was. Uh, this is the first time that we have seen you all on stream this season. Uh, last season, we saw you on stream a lot. And man, the improvement out of you players is absolutely insane. Talk to me about that. Let me start with, let me start with Mr. Math. Mr. Math, dude, a bunch of goals today showing out on the offense and on the defense. What has brought this team together for you in particular, and, and what do you see as, as your main kind of improvements as a team? Well, in all honesty, we've started playing together a little bit more, and we started practicing a little bit together, and that led to more passing plays, knowing where each other's going to be, more trust in each other. Like, for example, we had times where we'd just say, leave it, and then we'd trust the other person and just hit the ball. And I don't know, moments like that really just helped us come together and solidify the teamwork. And yeah, I couldn't have done it without the team, of course. Of course. You know, and that's something I want to direct my next question to L. Bloop, because that is something that L. Bloop, I remember interviewing you last season, and we talked about that. We talked about kind of finding a rhythm as a team. How has your role potentially changed or not changed? Uh, and how do you feel uh, this team compares to the team that was playing in the state tournament last year? Oh man, uh, the, the team in this uh, tournament last year was either we get a good, strong clear, and then I have to you know translate into a goal, or I do some style shot and then it translates into a goal. But the team this year is so much more different. I mean, we have Aiden or Mr. Mott and uh, Slider Count. They're both playing very big roles in the team, and I, I'm playing more of a positional game now where I can just sit around midfield and wait for an opportunity. I mean, we've seen multiple goals from today where they just, it's eight, or it's Mr. Mott and Slider Count where they, they go off each other and they score from it. I, I don't even have to be in the play. It's big difference from last, last season. Yeah, I mean, absolutely crazy stuff. Slider, let me get one, well, let me get one question to you. Well, how do you think your uh, gameplay has changed? How do you think that this team it, what's a specific way you think this team has improved? Answer those questions for me, Slider. Um, so a big way we improved was, well, last year I joined in almost the middle, like right at the start of the season. So I was brand new to playing with these guys. And so it was like that communication and that trust we didn't have down yet. And I was also not as good at the game. So I was missing hits. And as we grew to where we are now, um, we're playing more consistently and they have more trust in me and I've improved to be able to help with the plays. And that has kind of brought us to where we are. Yeah, Amazing I mean, stuff. the name of your game right now is consistency. It's the best way to describe it. Um, Mr. Math, I wanted to ask you another question. So we noticed that your mechanics today looked really good and definitely better than last season. How have you specifically been practicing those mechanics? Uh, and honestly, I just play twos with uh, El Bloop, like fairly often, three or four times a week. And he's like high GC, like SSL. And he gives me, you know, tips, stuff like that. And then I'll slowly improve with him. Well, yeah. sounds like a good way to do it. Um, and Very then... Slider count. I noticed you were your role. You weren't. I mean, making the. You weren't scoring the goals. You were playing kind of a second man role. Could you explain that for us? You, kind of your role in this team synergy. Yeah. So when I first came in, it was always a loop attacking and Mr. Mott typically assisting. And the way I came into it was I was always just be back and be there to kind of save the ball and kind of clear it for them. And so as we started with that, it just kind of progressed into our team's habits. So I would typically sit back and then go up when I need to. And we've kind of just implemented that throughout our time playing together. Very nice. Hey, yeah. so hold on. Is it, is it Mr. Math or Mr. Mott? Are we pronouncing it wrong? Well, 
I don't really care. My real last name is Mr. Mott, but I mean, okay. some teachers still call me Mr. Mott. I, I really don't have a preference. It, okay. it doesn't bother all right. me at all. But I, okay. So I heard it from both of your teammates. It's good for us to know Mr. Mott, not Mr. Math. This is yeah. great stuff for us to know. I'm always trying to level up as a caster, all right? I always tell you guys I'm not that good at video games, so I don't level up that many times in video games. But as a caster, I try to level up. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we kind of like it, though, because then we can make fun of them. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> well, now, now I'm just contributing to that, man. Now I feel terrible. Anyway, um, you, can make you guys, bad joke. great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, tell me, uh, Manai, do you have any other questions for our guys here? Yeah, just one last question. Are there any teams that you guys are maybe not scared of, but you know, looking out for coming into the state tournament? Uh, Spring Lake Park, definitely. Mm -hmm. And Hill Mary, good. that's going to be a good matchup. Yeah, it, it's going to be fun to see when we get to. All right. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. You guys, my last question would be, um, are you, so now this is the first time you've been on stream this season. You were on stream a lot last season. Is there any added pressure or anything like that, knowing that next weekend for the state tournament, we're going to be on Alpine's stream instead of the MNBL stream? We're going to be straight up on the pro stream uh, next weekend. Does that add anything for you guys? Are you guys getting nervous, or how are you feeling right now? I don't know. I'm just playing my game. i not really adding much pressure to it. It's cool that we have a big audience, though. Well, El Bloop's also in like a professional league, like semi-pro league, and he does this stuff all the time, so it's normal for him. Yeah. I mean, I I don't I don't feel like it's any real pressure. I'm not worried awesome. about it. Awesome, good stuff. Well, hey, you know what, you guys, very impressive. You were so so fun to watch last season, and now I mean again. We haven't seen you this season, and we are seeing uh, really, really, really incredible stuff out of you. Very, very proud of the work that you put in, and congratulations on the big dub today. I think uh, I think that's that's some momentum to carry into state tournament weekend, you guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Great, great work. Thank you all, and thank you to all of our viewers, all of our fans. Thank you for joining us. And primarily, though, thank you to Alpine Esports, our title sponsor. They've been supporting us, as I said, since last season. And next weekend, we will be live on their channel for our Rocket League State Finals. Maniac. I mean, it's hype, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, Alpine, they're a sick group of people. And like we said, their merch is like the, I mean, it's the best esports merch you could get. Yeah, it's great. You know, it, it's, great. it's so good. And, Comfy, stylish. Yeah, exactly. And going on their stream next week, it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be fun to watch. It's going to yep. be fun, fun to see. It's going to be a great time. Can not wait. Thank you again to Alpine Esports for all of their support folks this has been an amazing sunday of esports we got one great game of rocket league in and now we're going to take a break for a few days before we get into our big state tournament here for the spring follow minnesota varsity league on all social media to find out when the tournaments are going to be which sports are going to be on which days and just tune in to everything that we have going on because it is going to be an epic weekend GG's to both of our teams that we saw today. SJP coming out strong and looking great. Uh, and Cedar Mountain got some stuff to put together and to work on, to look at. So good, good stuff on the day. Thank you to everyone on our production staff. On behalf of everybody here, I was joined by Maniac today. My name is Thunder McFadden. Folks, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next weekend for State.